no secret our parks are a big source of tourism and revenue for Colorado, but proposed budget cuts by President Trump totaling $1.5 billion could change that. Denver 7's Mark Boyle is in Rocky Mountain National Park to break down what these cuts mean to our state. Last year, over 4 million people came to Rocky Mountain National Park to visit and looking around, can you blame them? But if this proposed budget cut goes through, it could spell disaster for a lot of local economies. Anger is mild and generous, ridiculous, and really, at some level, really stupid. Alice Swartz isn't unlike many we spoke with today about President Trump's proposed budget cuts to the Department of the Interior and our national parks. When you see the numbers of people visiting our parks now, we need some help. The fear in spots like Estes Park, which gets 60% of its $15 million annual general fund budget from tourism, we lose Estes. It's a tourist town. It's a lovely place to live, but the only thing that's here is basically for tourists. Oh, I am so cold. <laughs> and those tourists, like this group from Georgia, could see fewer services. The idea isn't going over well. I think it's terrible that we have an administration who puts less thought into essentially what belongs to us, the American people, national parks, and it's completely irresponsible. While Mayor Yursa says the town will be okay in the short term, his concern comes years from now. I'm concerned because there are you know, deferred maintenance issues in the park and things that aren't getting taken care of. And if we're going to preserve these places for you know, generations to come, it becomes very difficult. In 2015, visitors spent $250 million visiting this park. Total output, $400 million to local economies. It's just speculation right now. If this budget goes through, how much that could take a hit. In Rocky Mountain National Park, Mark Boyle, Denver 7.